views and opinions expressed in the following program are those of the hosts and guests and not necessarily those of the staff and management of WWDB-TV. When my girl's got the sweetest pussy. Welcome to SinCityBounty.com, where you can say and do whatever the fuck you want, except show penises because we stream live on Facebook. I mean, we can show penises like behind the scenes if we had some down here. Yeah, we'd be like, there's a penis right there, and it's a nice looking penis. Or not so much. Yeah, so in case you didn't notice, Irma, uh, Alexia is not with us tonight. Uh, she has opted to take care of some uh, family business. Uh, so it is, I think, for the first time ever, a Toxie and Sierra duet. So it's not the first time ever. We used to do the show, just the two of us, all the time. And if you remember, we would constantly be, we would just talk about whatever. And I would leave to go to the bathroom because we had a three fucking hour long show when we I first did. started and I would go to the bathroom and I would come back and you're talking fucking Star Wars and shit. Like just <laughs> doing would, the camera yeah. and you're like, the return of the Jedi or whatever all that is. So Yeah. Yeah. That's usually what it was. So in this case, uh, it won't be like that. I'm sure we've done this show alone before. Yes, because as you mentioned, if you tune in on YouTube, thank you very much. Make sure you hit the bell icon to get notifications um, and subscribe to us so you can you know, watch us regularly. But if you don't subscribe to us on YouTube, you're watching us on Facebook, or if you're watching us on YouTube, we also stream this live on Facebook every Tuesday-ish. And uh, <clears throat> Toxie was talking earlier about how it was either makeup or shitting, and she decided to shit. So we got her with no makeup. I had a, I, I'm like, a, I just threw mascara on, and not even well. Like, <laughs> I didn't even grab my good stuff. I grabbed, like, this shitty tube that I had. The pink and right green there. one with the attached mirror on it? Basically. Yeah. I mean, it was, like, it was one of those things that, like, came in a kit that I would never actually normally use. But it was there, and it was near a mirror. And I'm like, whoosh, 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 go. So totally, uh, totally chose... Uh, Pooping over makeup. <laughs> over makeup. I, yeah, what can I say? Since I learned my lesson, as we talked about in the last show, I will not go at work. <laughs> Did and, you? Uh... And as a follow-up to the last, just to give everyone a follow-up, if you watched the last show, just to recap, I started a new job. Um, I haven't worked in an actual office in well over 10 years. Um, I don't go to the bathroom in public places. But I had no choice, and I had to go, and it did not go well <laughs> at all. Um, somebody came in right after me, and it was it was just it was horrible. The next thing I know, they had the door open, airing out the bathroom. Like I'm the shit girl now. She's at the work, office basically. pooper. I'm the office pooper, and now all of a sudden they have um, air freshener spray in the bathrooms. <laughs> so there's a little there's a little follow up to uh, to that. <laughs> So. It's always nice to know that <laughs> by yourself you can change an entire building's I have, policy. I have completely changed <laughs> the entire thing. And what's funny is, is one of the, the offices that their corporate office is in there, and I always see that corporate office, and, and it's of a restaurant. Um, and I won't say which, but when I eat at the restaurant, like, it's one of those restaurants you always get the shits from. And I'm like, there is no way those corporate people are eating their own food and not blowing up this bathroom. Like, there's no way. But apparently, apparently I'm the shitter. So. Apparently they know better. Um, but we have a lot going on. We have a lot we're going to talk about tonight. We have, um, in a little bit, we are going to have uh, Bree from Bree's uh, Party Pop-Up. Pop-Up Party? Pop-Up Party. I don't remember. It looks like Pop. <laughs> so I keep meaning to tell her that. It looks like Pop. It gets me excited. Like, I'm going to be little dog. Puppies! Um... Sorry. So we're going to have her on, and we're going to be talking about her summer event. But before we get to that, we have a lot going on. So 
I reached out to the ladies earlier, and I'm like, hey, you guys going to Jacob's plush event tonight? And we're like, N no. No, because it's, it's tomorrow. tomorrow night. So um, I promised to learn how to use a calendar, but tomorrow night is the return of plush. And I saw on Facebook, you know, Jakey Poo's getting on an airplane, like, as we speak. So. He's heading here now, bitches, now. So uh, that means he will be here. We're excited. This event. Um, so tomorrow night, we'll post the information. Plush, it's at the, the usual spot downtown. Um, no cover. Drink specials all night. Definitely a, a must, must go you to. You got to go. It's the... Plush parties are always amazing and fun and upbeat. And I think that is a direct result of the hard work and effort that Katie and Jacob have put into this particular club over the years. Um, speaking of Katie, go Katie, we're rooting for you. Hashtag KFIN will win. So. so tomorrow night, plush downtown. Definitely, definitely be there. And um, some men call the boobs puppies. They yes, do. They do. They Sweater do puppies. puppies. Sweater puppies. And sometimes you just have a pet who's a human and you call him your pup. So that's why it always gets me excited when I see that little title. She is into puppy play. You know, what can I say? You would have enjoyed. So uh, speaking of events, uh, last night, not last night, last weekend, I had two charity events back to back. They sort of overlapped each other. One of the ones that I went to was for uh, Sin City Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, which is a group here in town that does a lot of work for AIDS advocacy and AIDS programs and things like that. Speaking of which, one of these days I'm going to get those girls in here. They're amazing. But they have been there yeah. years ago. Yeah. So they had go-go dancers. And one of those go-go -go dancers was in a full puppy play leather getup. And I saw them and immediately thought of you. That would be amazing. The first time I ever saw, uh, was it a St. Andrew's Cross? Was that an event for them? Mm -hmm. Like there was one up on stage and I was there like, this is before I knew anything. This is before I met you bitches. <laughs> and like learned the worst of the worst of everything there is out there. And, um, and the best. Yeah. Well, of course, of course. And I mean, I'm not complaining, you know. So um, I totally just lost track of my thoughts. St. Andrew's oh, Cross. I remember going in and I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and my friend, you know, explained it. And then, like, they were doing um, wax play up on the stage. And, like, I had no idea. I was just so. This event was like, pretty tame. It was a red dress party. Mm -hmm. Everyone was in dresses really guys girls everything in between straight guys gay guys everything in between they were all in dresses it was amazing there were some very butch dudes whom 100 percent positive were straight that were totally rocking the fuck out of some badass red dresses and then some fucked up ass adidas tennis shoes which is how i knew they were not gay i don't know doesn't everyone wear adidas tennis shoes uh, they might, but they wouldn't wear some fucked up ones that looks like that they've been to every pub bar crawl in in the entire country. Looks like they might have some embedded vomit on them and stuff. Like Some wow. of those guys had amazing dresses and shit shoes. And I was like, what the fuck? And then there were a couple of guys that I wanted to take out and knock out in the parking lot for their shoes. But <laughs> I didn't. I did get drunk, So I didn't, I didn't take anybody's shoes. So you were at that event. More events happening. This weekend, we will be broadcasting from the plaza. And we will be at um, Excellence Plus. Winter. Excellence Plus now, right? The yeah. winter um, event. And that information is on my page. Um, I'll make sure I put it on our main page as well. They will be selling, uh, buying it online has passed. So per day, I believe it's $40 per day. So you can pay at the door. Um, and get all of the events, but Saturday night we will be there, and I actually have an idea. I have to reach out to them and see if this, if I can post in their page, but I always talk to people who are so excited about coming on and getting interviewed, and then when it's time, they're like, give me a little while, like, you know, I need to drink a bit first. I need some liquid courage. Which, yeah, I don't play, Mom. Um, 
And so, you know, then I'm like hunting them down after. And then the time they finally come out is as we're shutting down. It happens every every time. There's always every like time. five people coming and they're like, they're like I'm ready. I'm ready. No. I'm ready. And we're like, it's packed in the boxes now. So I'm thinking this time I'm just going to text them and, you know, get the number and say, hey, are you available now? And then if so, come out. So also I'm not, you know, I catch everybody, but it's also sometimes hard when everything's going on to find them. And so, especially if I don't know their name and I'm like, hey, did you see that lady who's wearing the pink dress and she has really cute hair? And they're like, there's like five women right around who describe that. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> she has a great ass. Nope. Now you've added one more. What? So I'm thinking it'll be easier that way. So I'm going to try our new system. If you want to come on and you're going to be here Saturday night, uh, just come and talk to us. We will put you on the air. We'll talk about whatever the fuck you want to talk about. You want to promote your shit, you can promote your shit. Uh, we like to keep it short because we don't broadcast for very long. We, uh, I think we do 11 to 1, right? Um, 10 to 1. 10, yeah. 10, 10, 10 to, to one. 1. So we only do three hours, which I know to you people seems like a lot of time, but trust me, we used to do it three hours a fast. night. It goes by super fast. So, Jaspi, will you be there Saturday night? Like, are you going to be at this event? Because the last time, you didn't show up until not only were we packed, um, but the other ladies were gone. <laughs> and then you left. showed up at the pool. Yeah. So, um, yep. We will be broadcasting. It shall be fun. Hopefully. Yeah, absolutely. So a lot of uh, a lot of fun people coming into town. So definitely head out to that this weekend. Come out. Come see us. Come on the show. Have fun. Do all that great stuff. Um, yes. Yes. What else? That was it. We're going to get Brie on? We're done? We're Is done the with show it? over? Yeah, show's over. Have we promoted everything we have to promote? All right, Brie. Oh, really quick. Just throwing it out there. Crave um, is on the 17th. 16th. 16th? No, it's the 17th. It's not the 17th. All right, Abby, I know you're in there. So tell us which date it is because I can't click off. But it's at a um, – they're, they're trying out two venues. And it's going to be at a different venue that I'm actually super excited about. So – we're going, right? Okay, on the 16th? Yes. I can't. So it's the 17th? No. It's the 16th. I c still can't go. And the 17th, I'm having my corned beef and cabbage party, which you said you were coming to. It is the 16th. I told you so. I still can't come. I will be out of town that day. Will you? I will. Well, I really want to go. I'm super excited about this venue, so I'm going to have to find someone to go with. Yes, you are. Or go alone. All right, everybody on Facebook. Oop, there we go. We got to talk farther away from my microphone there we go ninja, there we go gotta keep ninja talking karaoke. he wants us to keep talking ninja karaoke off of main street bar um the bar and patio area go to cravelv.com so i'm going to go i'll just go alone and i'll follow abby everywhere and um i'll be fine if you see my hello guest so who do we, we have we have is she on supposedly we can hello Hi. Hello. Oh. Hey. How are you? Good. How about you? I'm great. I can kind of just barely hear you, but I can hear you. Hey, you can just guess what we're saying. Just answer whatever you want to answer. Yeah. Okay. Um, once in college, and yes, I liked it. I already knew that one. Okay. That's, that's most girls' answer, isn't it? Yeah. Once in college, and I really did like it? Yeah, basically. No, no I did. Once again, after college, just to be sure, just to reconfirm. Right. And then, I, I don't know, one random night and then another time. I, anyway. Now, can you, um, for the individuals on Facebook, can you all hear Bree? Let me know if you can hear Bree. Bree, what are you wearing? Um, it's very sexy. It's made of jersey. It um, has snowflakes on it, oh, and wow. it's um, called winter pajamas. Yeah. Well, that's because yeah. you live in the I, Great I know White I'm North. exciting a lot of people. Yeah. You live in the Great White North. You need to wear pajamas. Yes, I do, yeah. and they need to be very warm. So, um, 
I'm just picturing you there in your warm jammies. It's kind of hungry. Very warm, fuzzy slippers. That's the perfect. Are you watching Netflix? No, she's watching um, this. I was. I have it paused. She, she has it paused. She's living my best life. <laughs> That's my best life right there. <laughs> once all yep. this is done, once I'm no longer doing the show, my kid is off to college. That every Saturday night, you will reach out and say, hey, what are you up to? Or Tuesday night in this case. And I will say, I'm in my winter pajamas watching Netflix. Like, Yeah, no, you're it. going to college with your kid, I thought. I am. <laughs> I try to pretend I'm not. I'm trying to play it cool. Um, I don't yeah. want everybody to know I'm crazy, but yeah, no. Well, I'm, I'm well, going. They, you know the I'm deal going. is, if you're paying for it, then you're going too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Might as well. Might as well get my money's worth and like get into all of the parties and I'm going to be the sure. one. I'm not actually going to go to school. I'm just going to use her ID to get into parties. And oh, stuff. God, yeah. No, you don't want to go to class or anything. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. And if I do, I'll just take her classes and have her do my homework. So it makes right. up for, it makes up for yes. all those years. Like, I had to help her learn to read and shit, you know? Yeah, so. just tell her to print, too. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Um, so what do you have going on, Brie? I've got this thing called a bash going on, and I'm so excited. I can't even tell you. So tell I, us mi- what the new name last is. last year killed me, and I will not miss another year, I promise. It is called the, the new name. It's renamed. It's renamed, and I kind of did it for a reason, actually. It was Well-Rounded BBW. Right. And now it's called Bree's Pop-Up Party. And you can also reach it through the old dom- domain of uh, wellroundedbbw.com you can get there through freezebbwparty.com so you bought all that com. shit up I, I bought like every kind of donate main <laughs> name around it so I do the you same can't thing. go wrong if you can't remember the yeah. name try something that sounds similar <laughs> and you'll find me <laughs> or just swing by our Facebook page we'll put a link up on there Perfect. so you know it looks like pop right if it's lowercase yeah when you have it up and you know that excites me right like <laughs> it, it, it excites me because i mean i think of something else not your pop-up party but then i realize oh it's your pop-up party and i get even more excited so oh okay good so what kind of i don't things... want to let you down you know <laughs> what kinds of things do you have planned for the new pop-up party well you know what i love the new venue i'm super super excited about being at Samstown. um I think it's going to be amazing um, because it offers us so much that we couldn't, we've never had access to before. Um, you know, now we can do, you know, Samstown has um, an 18 screen movie theater. Um, they have a giant sports and race book. Um, they have bowling, they have live bingo. They have an arcade. Um, and so like it's... Kino, you know, so I plan to incorporate like all these things into the event. Um, I love that they have a food court, you know, that that's huge um, with access to 24 hour munchies. Isn't there a donut um, shop in there? There's a Dunkin Donuts there. There's a Subway. There's I'm a sad. Panda. There's, there's a Roberto's Cal- Tacos. I'm um, really sad. Fridays. There's an ice cream shop in there called Calamity Jane's. Calamity Jane's, and Hol- yeah. Yeah, Holy Balls is that good ice cream. I mean, I'm a frozen yeah. yogurt girl now, but Calamity Jane's is good ice cream. Ah. So, um, so here's the... the and then thing. Pizza Fridays is great. So, yeah. And here's, with appetizers. Oh, yeah, the appetizers. So here's a big thing for anybody who has never been there. If you're, not, if you're from Vegas, you know where it is. You've been there. I can almost guarantee if you live in Vegas, you've been there. But if you're not... What it is is essentially a town, like a self-contained town yeah. of everything you could ever need. Um, and I think that's why right they there. call it Sam's Town. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. it really is like Tree a little city the under, all under one roof. I'll tell um, you my, my... It has everything. My two favorite things about Sam's Town is uh, the Sam's Town Buffet. It's an amazing buffet. One of the reasons I love it is they are the only buffet in town that has a large selection of sugar-free desserts. I mean, they have their own, like, giant sugar-free dessert case. It's amazing. The other thing I love is right next door to the buffet, and it's their uh, Mystic Falls. They have an indoor waterfall park. Mm -hmm. Um, And the light show that goes off in there is adorable. And I love the little bar in there. It can be super romantic at night. Like, 
that whole area is just fucking magical. I've been on a date in there. I like have to. It is. It's, it's really. I, uh, I've really seen a cool. wedding happen there. Like, and that was a gorgeous setting to have a wedding happen in there. It's a. It's. I think I, it's a great place if you just meet somebody and you want to go and talk and you want some alone time, but yet you don't want to go to someone's room. Right. right. You know, you take a little stroll down in the atrium area. You know. I oh, think yeah. it's gorgeous. It, it is gorgeous. And one of the things that Sam's Town really prides itself on is its uh, accessibility. They mm-hmm. have a, com- they're completely accessible for every able and uh, for every version of able body, I guess mm-hmm. you could say. Yeah. I don't know how to say that. So if you need to get upstairs, there are plenty of elevators that can get you up there. Oh, they there have walkway are, ramps. They have walkway ramps. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everything is accessible. Everything is accessible at Samstown, and that yeah, it's extremely accessible. Yeah, and every um, every room has a refrigerator in it too, right? Yes, they do. Yep. They have a refrigerator and a safe. So here's when I saw um, when you posted where it's going to be, I got really excited because it's down the street from my house. Well, that's not why I got excited. <laughs> it's nowhere near my house. But um, I was excited because it, it was always the place when my daughter was younger. Um, it was always the place she wanted to go. And it was because of the falls, because to me, I know it sounds lame, but they're kind of magical. <laughs> they're magical. Um, <laughs> you know, when it goes off and then you know, the lights kind of change and it's all uh, the misty the and everything. The light show thing, yeah. But, and we would go to the movies. Like, that's the place she would always ask to go to the movies um, because of the, the falls. But it's really one of those... Um, one of those all around kind of places where mm, it's gorgeous at Christmas time too. Yeah, because they do a whole Christmas theme thing that's amazing. It's gorgeous. All right, you know so they, tell they us. They kind of snookered me on one spot though. Um, I was there and I, you, there, there's actually birds that live in the atrium. I'm not sure how they got in there. I'm thinking maybe they came in through Samsung Live, like yeah. when the doors were all wide open, and you'll actually see like birds are flying around. But you hear birds, and uh, like I'm saying, really, are there that many? Because I thought maybe one or two strays get in. And then I realized, oh, wait, there are speakers in those trees. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Piping those, in the bird they're sounds. piping in the birds. The birds are actually in a back room somewhere. <laughs> and uh, <Yeah. laughs> they're piping them into you. So the birds are living their best life back at, you know, room 102. Right. They're fuzzy yeah. slippers and warm pajamas. Living yeah. only eating the finest of bird seed. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so um, so some of the big things that I, I want to ask about, will there be a vendor fair? Yes, there will be a vendor fair. Ooh. Okay. And so do you have any vendors yet, or that's still in the works? No, because I really haven't opened registration yet. So okay. um, I haven't opened the, oh, that's right. the vendors okay. yet either. But okay. I do already have several vendors that have approached me and said, hey, open that up. I want to sign up. So, yeah, you know, there, there for sure will be vendors. There also will be a clothing swap, which I think is very exciting. All right, excellent. I, I don't know if you know this, Bree, but I donated most of my clothing um, when I moved late last year, and I accidentally donated all of my panties. All of them. All of them. Oh, my. So, yeah. <laughs> she could have sold them and made a shit ton of money. I know. All I kept thinking after is all that money that I missed <laughs> out on. But they, so, were, they were clean panties. So. Bree, we have a question for you in chat. What is the daily rate? Um, I, you know what? I... I oh, something just fell. Sorry, that was noisy. Um, I haven't quite figured it out. I'm thinking it's probably forty dollars per day. Okay. Um, I, I still have a little financing to figure out um, because I, you know, just putting it all together. But it, it will be right around there. Abby said parking is great for locals, which is true because I've actually gone there. Um, drunk before i haven't driven there drunk i've been the passenger in a vehicle while drunk and the parking is pretty easy so it's easy to yeah, i've been out with you actually when you were supposed to be the designated driver you have and um yeah you and desiree and it was like oh okay jesus take the wheel i guess i'm driving you the know? thing is i was completely sober but i probably should have warned you ahead of time i have a hard time seeing at night and uh, I remember telling you as we were driving, like, hey, by the way, 
I have a hard time much. seeing at night, so <laughs> yeah. I'm getting old. What can I say? I uh, I own stock in Lyft now. Just you can ask them, <laughs> right? I I lift everywhere in this town. You know what? It's funny. Like I remember years ago, the doctor said, "Oh yeah, that I you know I'm starting to have trouble seeing. You know, like my vision is changing." And he's like, "Oh, you're you know once you hit your 40s, then that kind of hits." He's like, it's presbyopia. And I'm like, no, I'm Catholic. (laughs) (laughs) Bad joke. Sorry. (laughs) It's a good joke, and I got it. So uh, I didn't, but I laughed anyway. So you don't have any vendors lined up yet. Do you have workshops or speakers set up yet, or are you still working on that? I do. I have some workshops. I actually have more workshops in the plan, um, but... I don't have full commitment from the people that are that will be doing them, so I haven't listed them on the website yet. So let me but ask a there question. There are actually several more. Let me ask a question. Totally impromptu question. Do you have room for one more? I do. Yeah. Okay. Just curious. Just just curious because I oh, actually right. know some people working on a, a presentation. Right. A seminar really? of sorts. Okay. I know so. three girls. Who might be working on a seminar for all people really because i would be really. very interested in hearing about that yes so uh, we'll have to um connect you with those women <laughs> i'm actually planning to do something kind of cool too is um i I'm, i haven't worked this out yet with Sandstown, but my plan assuming that they can help me pull this off is that i will have the vendors fair and the workshops all in the same room so the Vendors will be all around the room. That's and then your the best bet. Will be going on in the middle. Yeah, that's your best bet. It fills the room as well, um, because what will happen is yeah, some. It, oh, sorry. Go on. No, I was going to say it fills the room, but also it pulls people to the vendors yes. there, and the you know the vendors want customers. Because I'm telling you right now that I'm one of those people who will sit there in something. Whenever I use okay, I used to go to a lot of training seminars a lot. I used to be a trainer. And um, I would go to these seminars and I would spend my time during the seminar looking at the table (laughs) of this stuff I could buy after the seminar to take back to my training classes. And Mm -hmm. um, so that was like my favorite part was always just sitting there and like looking around like, all right, what can I get? What can I get when we're done here? And so I think that's a really great idea. I learn, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I'm a, I'm excited for this. I love the vendor fair. I love the seminars. Uh, I will not be able to take time off during the day because I'm taking all of my time off uh, the month before you get there. But I'm planning on working my ass off to try to get there for some of this stuff because I, I love I, the um, seminars that happen. I'm planning some really unique seminars, too. One of them that I, I really think is exciting is um, Kathy Edmondson is going to be doing a workshop about buying a home. Um, Ooh, things that. that you need to know to get your credit ready, um, how much house you can afford, um, you know, how to check your credit score, how to improve it if it needs to be improved, what can count toward your mortgage. Um, right. You know, a lot of people think, like one of the things I didn't know that she pointed out was um, if you have um, like overtime that you do on a regular basis and, you know, you turn in your pay stubs and it's there unless it's been there for two years and it's been consistent you can't count that yeah so and i thought that i'm like oh i wouldn't have known that and i'm sure a lot of other people don't know it um so there's so many different facets to that and um you know for some people you know buying a house is just a dream they think it will never happen and they don't know know where to start i encourage everybody to go because you know what? Maybe you can. <laughs> I've been there, and you don't know where to start. You're kind of, and then you put your trust in others who maybe aren't always the, the most trusting. So it's great to right. be able to go in and have somebody who, you know, we can vouch as upfront, honest, um, and obviously knows the ins and outs of what she does right. to be able to and give you some guidance. And the other thing is, Kathy is so great that, you know, if, if you're in another state, and it's not a state that she works with or something. She, I mean, she's very outgoing. She will answer questions for you. Mm-hmm. She'll say, no, that doesn't sound right. Or, you know, ask them about this. Or you really need to have this ready. And, 
Um, and, and also, you know, really impart the, the knowledge to you that when your mortgage person asks you for information, you know, and they ask for five things, don't give them three and think they're going to be satisfied. Like, you know, give them everything that they need. And, and the more timely you do it, the quicker your loan goes through. Um, and that sounds just really basic, but a lot of people don't do it. <laughs> so, um, Kathy looks forward to hosting the First Time Home Buyers Workshop. Um, Lisa has suggested, at first she's leaving room in her suitcase for purchases. Totally great idea. Second, and Perfect I idea. love this idea, um, she suggested having a masseuse. some masseuses there. And if there was a foot lady, um, she said that would be great. We were at a plush event, and there was a guy there. He was doing it was for doing, tips, but he really is a, um, a masseuse. A masseuse. Yeah. He was doing foot he massages. He was doing foot massages. It was the most amazing thing ever. It was. Like, I remember, like, sitting there, and at first, I'm like, I don't know if I could do this. I feel kind of weird. And then I'm like, oh, right there. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> don't stop. Don't stop. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, your time's almost up. No. No, it's not. <laughs> no, no. 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 My time stopped. <laughs> Um, we have had a, a foot masseuse person, um, Pat the Foot Lady, in the past. Um, I don't know that we'll have her again, um, but um, we've had other people approach us about um, massages and and things. So you know that is probably very likely. Awesome! That's a great idea. It is. Um, they also have a spa at Stamstown as well. They just do. by the way, they, they have, have a beauty salon as well. They have a beautiful spa at Samstown. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Do they have a sauna? I think so. I mean, or else you could just get wet and go outside. True. <laughs> it's Vegas. It's July. It's tell, Vegas us, tell us about the pool. <laughs> um, the pool is a resort-style pool. It's kind of, I don't know what shape it is, but, you know, a unique shape. Um, <laughs> it ha does have cabanas um, and, um, you know, lounge chairs and... I think it has everything that we need. Okay, excellent. And um, so we had a question. Uh, if you've never been to one of your events before, what can one expect from this event as far as the atmosphere? I think the atmosphere is always very fun. People are very welcoming. And when I say that, I, I always hesitate because not I mean, you can't make everybody be welcoming. I mean, right. I would say 99% of the people are welcoming. You know, there's always a couple of curmudgeon kind of people, but, you know, Legends. they just had a bad oh, day. Um, it sounds like a word you would use. It is a word I use. <laughs> curmudgeon? Yeah, yeah. curmudgeon. <laughs> I couldn't remember um, that word if my life depended on it, but I, I only think of it because I've heard you use it. <laughs> And then, so I associate it with you. I'm, qu I'm quite loquacious. Yes. But most people are very welcoming. Um, one of the things I'm planning to do is some kind of a, a badge type thing that says that people are a newbie. Um, you know, some way of showing that, whether I they feel like to wear it or not. I feel like you should them. make them wear a hat. Like that has yeah. clapping hands or something. Something giant, right? Yeah. yeah. A, an enormous... <laughs> thing a big sombrero yeah a giant sombrero like with hands on it and then you pull a string and it makes it clap it's not we're in the southwest it's you know something yeah something really big and wild and crazy i like the clapping hands or just yeah. the hat saying like hey i'm new can yeah. i get it can or, i get a new you know hat? one of those helmets like with the beer can yes but i need one of those anyway <laughs> yeah Taxi and I would like well, to request newbie badges. Well, drinking out of your purse, I guess. Yes, that's how it works. <laughs> Sometimes you don't want to get out of the pool to go get more alcohol. I, I hear you. And if you had it in a hat, <laughs> conveniently, it wouldn't be a big deal. But just for the record, just so everybody's aware, um, I do get out of the pool to pee. So... Um, oh, yes, you know, I the do. people usually that oh, speak yes, about it, you always wonder if that's really the case. It, because yeah, if but... you just do something, then you don't just don't talk about it. It's kind of like saying you have class. If you have to tell people you have class, then you don't have class. So, I don't tell anybody I have class. Do none. they really? <laughs> I've got class on Wednesday. Does that count? Uh -huh. <laughs> 
sure. I really don't pee in, in the pool, in a public pool. Okay, because we're going to put that dye in there. I hope you do. I'm, that's what I'm always afraid of. I may pee in your pool, though, but no one else is in there but us. So yeah. your pool that may pool get never pee. gets used except for you know, my ass in the leather league. Yeah. But in my very own pool at home, I've peed in my own pool. I think I've peed in your pool as well, Brie. So. You know, that's okay. I'm all right with that. But public pee, no. That's why you have cabana boys to get you the booze. What if you want cabana ladies? Why is it always cabana boys? Like, yeah, I'd like well, a cabana one of each, please. I think it's just a term. I, I it think is. it really can be male or female. It is. I want a cabana. The male, you know, a cabana person. boys. Is anyone willing cabana to be my bitch. cabana lady? Will you, Johnny cabana Fever? Cabana babe. Will you be my cabana bitch? Cabana bitch. <laughs> will you wear if if we get you the speedo and it says Sin City Bounty on the butt? Will you be our cabana bitch? <laughs> You know, I'm sure you'd get takers. For a price. For a price. <laughs> At the low, low price of $500, <laughs> you can get your own <laughs> cabana bitch. Your topless cabana bitch. <laughs> the price is spending time with us outside of here. Yeah, like that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. And the joy of serving you. Yeah. that's You should have a servant's heart. I am a pleasure to serve. You know, That's I just true. Think, I don't. All right, all right, much. I'll give you that. All right, all right. To, <laughs> I want someone to fan me and peel grapes and feed them to me. Why don't we just do that for each other? Do you remember that one time we put an ad up to get somebody yes. to feed us crab legs? We did. We did. It was. We did it to be funny. We thought it would be hilarious, and we got some really funny responses. Like one person pretended he was from um, SpongeBob. He pretended he was SpongeBob. Yeah, like that was like, the greatest response. <laughs> but everybody else was like, "You fucking fat bitches! Like you're so fat, you can't crack your own crabs." It got the the comments got so nasty we had oh to turn that I had to turn it off because it was hurting my feelings. Like, but we did get one guy who was like, "I'll sit at your feet and crack your crab legs yeah. for you. Do you want me to lick between your toes too?" And but we're we, like, but Woo. he attached a picture and we knew him. Yeah, not, we knew not him. us. One of the other um, co-hosts knew him, and she's like, "He's uh, not touching my crab because <laughs> he's gonna get my crab crabs." Actually, I remember going to crab with you um, at one time, Toxie, and I was helping crack your crab. Yeah. Because I, you know, really quick story. Many years ago, I couldn't crack crabs. I couldn't touch them. It creeped me out. And so my ex-husband would get crabs when we'd go out. And I'd have to get like a burger. And occasionally he'd be willing to crack a crab and give me some. But I would always sit by Jennifer. And Jennifer was amazing because um, it's a friend of ours. And she, she was would, like a fantastic cracker. She was the best crab cracker ever. And she would always crack crabs and like put some on my plate. And then like she wouldn't even have to break her stride. She was just so good at it. And finally one day she realized how pathetic I was. And she's like, I'm going to fucking show you how to crack crabs. So you don't have to do this bullshit every time. I and can she, just hear her saying these words. Yeah, yeah. no, it, these are really her words. <laughs> and um, uh, Oh, I believe. And she showed me how to crack crab, and so now I can. Except, I'm I'm only a I'm a lazy crab cracker. Like I'll only get the easy meat. I will not touch a fucking knuckle or nothing. Like you can keep oh. that stuff. I'll I want suck that. that yeah, shit. Yeah, it doesn't no. just like crack and slide out. That no, you get it. I can just. I like the stuff. If, I like the claw, and then the the legs. Legs. Yeah. I'll. I'll I have suck to actually go with out. rubber gloves to do it for people because I'm allergic to it. Oh, and yeah, so that's if right. I, we if I a, get, like, a scratch from cracking a, a shell, then I'll actually have an anaphylactic reaction. That's right. We had to be um, careful not to spray our crab juice all we over did. We, we went s- out for dinner. We went with you one time, and you sat across from us, and you had warned us about it. And beforehand, we're like, all right, we're, we're going to do our best to not kill Brie. Like, our goal here is <laughs> do not kill Brie. I now carry an EpiPen. <laughs> You should. It's a good idea. I'm I'm pretty messy, but I do remember that time we were like making a um, a crab jacuzzi in the butter. <laughs> we, were, we were just soaking our little cooking crab chunks in there. Put all the crabs in there, like they were like our kids. They were like swimming in there, and they yeah. took them from the pool. And it was they were great. Fucking delicious. They were good. So, uh, Sam's Town. Uh, what are the dates coming up? July 22nd to the 28th, and just to share, um, you got to take some good time off this summer because there's a lot of events happening and you can back them all up. 
right. Then, well, just before is um, Crave is doing a um, sponsoring a night for an opening party for me, and then of course Excellence is just before that. Mm -hmm. So it's like keep on partying. It's all right in. So you can get here. You can hit up an Excellence event. You can hit up a Crave event. You can hit up Breeze pop up party. Not to be confused with pup parties. Um, Breeze pop up party and um, make a summer of it. Like make it an awesome, awesome summer. If you're not already taking all of your vacation off for the two weeks in June, take it all off for the f second and third week in July. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. Well, we love you, Bree. Well, uh, I love you guys. Thank you very much for having me on. I just so you know, um, I already have your volunteer. Good <laughs> to help you. I'm and, counting on her, and she's super stressing, like that you're not going to want her. I'm going to send you another volunteer. Assure her that I already have jobs assigned to her. Yeah, she even said to me, um, "Can we get a room there?" <laughs> this time so just in case you need her at other times oh then she could just come at a moment's notice yeah that's essentially it like that's a great she plan. that she doesn't do that shit for me she adores you so she, i don't that's get because that because i gave her her first bottle of champagne you did <laughs> she did she gave my kid her first bottle of alcohol so and, and she, she was, was what, she didn't even 14? want to carry it out to the car <laughs> But yeah, so anyway, we will, um, we'll talk to you soon and you are going to be putting the pre-sale up the beginning of May, correct? Uh, beginning March. of March. Okay. March 7. All right. Beautiful. 72 hours sale. And that's the very be best price that you'll get. So All right. I urge you to jump on it. And not only that, but if you're thinking of coming like the weekend and adding a day or two, you might even just want to, this pre-sale this early bird sale is so good right you might just want to jump on the whole week right now even if you're just adding a couple of days that that's it, your best bet because so often people say i'll just come for the weekend and then all of a yeah. sudden they want to add thursday yeah. all the and time then it, if you're adding 40 bucks on and it's right. you know you know just do it all at one time and that way you have options all right so on our um on our facebook feed alexia has the website um, Abby said March 7th, 69 for the weekend or 129 for the week. And stay up to date by joining a group um, that Alexia also posted on our feed. So thank you, Bree. Thank you for calling in. and Thank you so much for having me. All right, what are, really quick before you go, what are you Netflixing? Um, my Netflix, well, I'm just finishing up Weeds. Oh, okay. All right. I but, love that and show. And it was okay. All right. Well, you have fun. You enjoy. Thanks for calling in. <laughs> All right. Have a great night. Bye-bye. Right, Thank bye -bye. you. Bye. So I have to admit, whenever we have calling guests, you know, we've been doing this for years, but whenever we have calling guests, I never know what to do with myself because we're I just kind of sitting here. We're all like, do, 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 do. <laughs> I never know what to do. Just whatever we are doing i because guess when someone's you can in probably studio, turn the like, monitor down now you look at them you know but johnny's not listening johnny's not listening he's thinking about the anarcha bad up bitch he sure is <laughs> i know who he wants to be a cabana bitch for what what oh, i have a I'm friend not allowed, i'm not allowed out in the daylight <laughs> i i bet me neither really i, I gotta work I understand. Video chat, maybe. For what? For calling guests? We can't do that. We don't have... I mean, we could do that, but it wouldn't make any difference for you Facebook people, because... Oh, that's yeah. better. It wouldn't make any difference for you Facebook people, because we still can't get the video feed onto the Facebook. I know there is a way to do it, but... No, we don't we get can, paid to do this. I think we can. I think we can do it if it's on our individual Facebook, like if I'm Facebook living from my own personal. I know there's but a way to do it. I don't think we can here. do it off of a page. So, uh, Bree said, "Just sit there and be pretty." That's what we do. She's really good at that. I am not. Whatever. Ten minutes. Ten you know. Minutes. So okay. 
That's actually a great segue into what I want to. Ten be- minutes. Yeah, no, no, yeah, ten minutes is perfect segue because this is going to take longer than that. But I'm literally sliding off this chair. Yeah. So, I have been back to internet dating. <sighs> I don't know why I do this to myself, but anyway, I've joined a shit ton of sites. By the way, I know the last time we talked about it was before. Uh, Valentine's Day and I said I would join a couple of sites on Valentine's Day so it's been a couple of weeks and I would like to tell you that the one that I was super excited about hater sucks dick it's terrible I have not had a single I mean is that what the site's about like is it for sucking dick or no 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 no. it's 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 supposed to match you with people based on the things you like and don't like so like you swipe left or you swipe right I don't like Trump I do like Obama I don't like people who stop and chit chat in the middle of the walking aisle at Walmart I do like puppies like that kind of thing right and then after you've swiped a bunch of those so like okay here's people who match your likes and dislikes well that that sounds fucking fairly decent to me except I've not had a single response on that site at all and this one's completely free Mm. nobody even has to fucking pay so anyway so that one's probably a wash I haven't been on it a couple of days I have had a few messages from guys, and I've been on one date from one website. I tried to convince another guy to come out one night, but he didn't want to, so that didn't happen. But I have discovered that the level of douchebaggery from website to website is the same. It is a constant between site to site. There is no variable that changes the level of douchiness. They are whether it's a paid site or a free site or one of those in-betweens where like it's free to use but you can pay for perks it's all the fucking same level of douchebaggery i had a guy i can't pull it up but you have the screenshot of it i had a guy message me who was like hi and i was like hello and he was like you look like a lot of fun and i was like well thank you and then he said he strung together like 15 words that made no fucking sense whatsoever Um, are you shy but fun or something like that yeah he was like are you shy and i'm like not really and he goes am i in trouble lol and i said why would you ask that and no and he was like you look btw a nerd and flame sign flame sign flame emoji flame emoji and some other shit like it made no no fucking sense none it was donald trump well i I, so i sent back i sent back huh question mark and he was like you look like a you look like a wild nerd and i was like oh not wild just a nerd fucking that's it there's it's been i read it clearly but i have i i read teenage speak oh yeah no i didn't understand a fucking word (laughs) that guy said but but he's probably like he's a full-grown adult like he's supposed to be two or three years older than i am anyway no 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 yeah for real for real according to this website he was like in his early 40s yeah Right. Guys, hey, do me a favor. <laughs> Can you not use emoji speak? Like, I use emojis probably more than I should for the age that I am or what have you. I I'm use, an adult. I use the original emojis, and occasionally when I'm talking to my girls, I'll throw in, like, an eggplant emoji, but that's mostly right. because eggplant equals, like, fucking dust because there's no dick going in here. And so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so there's a few we'll use, and I use, like, a smiley face because... For me, my personality, like my, that I'm kidding doesn't always come through well, but, but don't make it a conversation. Do you want to know the most used emoji in my, when you pop up the recents, the one that's always number one, it's the eye roll emoji. Yeah. That is the most used emoji on my phone. It's this one. Ugh. It's a fucking eye roll emoji. Yeah. So, uh, I will have to say that my results from the free sites are the same as my results from the paid sites. Yeah, that's my, the one. My first is the laughing, but my eye roll emoji and my girl that does this. Your shruggy girl? I use that all the time. Like, yeah. I don't fucking know. I can't help you with that. Um, it, it, God, it's it's just, it's fucking awful. I uh, was supposed to have a second date with a guy today for lunch, but I got fucking busy at work and couldn't go, so we had to reschedule for later. But so this guy, I went on a first date with him and it was a great first date. And if I explained all the things about him, you would realize we're probably a pretty good match. Um, But he's seeing someone, sort of. Like he's dating around and he's 
kind of something is starting with another person and he was honest with that up front and I was like I was like well that's okay I'm not really looking for like I don't want to be your girlfriend right now I'm not looking for anything mm-hmm. super serious right away and I was like you know if you want to go on a second date that's totally up to you and he was like okay so we scheduled the second date but then I fucking missed it so we rescheduled it it'll be my first second date in over a year well, I haven't been single for quite a year yet, but it'll be my first second date ever since I started dating again. If I go on it. If you go. If I go. I hope it happens. You might back out. No, I won't back out. It's up to him. Toxie reads emoji. I do read emoji. She does. I can totally. But I'm just saying, dudes, don't write an emoji. Like, Please. don't. Don't be that guy. Don't do it. Just don't do it. I feel for you and anyone trying to date and find someone nice. It's a job and a half. Grateful that I never have to date ever again. Aww. Aww. XOXO, her husband's name. Um, I'm so happy for all of you people who can find someone to live the rest of your life with. I realize it's going to be very difficult for me because I'm a complicated motherfucker, and even I can't explain how complicated I am. <laughs> like, when I try to explain how I'm complicated, yes, it's just a little shruggy emoji. Like, why are you complicated? And I'm like, I don't fucking know. I just am. Don't make me try to explain it. I would like somebody to have regular sex with, but I don't want them to be the only one I have sex with. I want uh, someone to cuddle with on a regular basis, but I don't want them cuddling with anyone else. I, uh... Uh, so I want, I want the, I don't want that part. So I want the first one. I'm like, I want someone to have regularly have sex with, but I don't feel it like it has to be monogamous for both of us. Our only option um, I want but I don't one. want the cuddler. Like I want the one who's like, hey, I've got my nut off. Time to hey. go. <laughs> yeah, I want someone to go like see the stars with, but I don't want to feel obligated that I have to fuck them after that. You know what I mean? I don't know. If you're gonna make me out there seeing the stars, you better fuck me after. <laughs> like I'm totally the opposite. I know. She's like, if you make me do anything outside the house, you <laughs> have you, to fuck me after. If you make me do something outdoors. If I have to fucking work up a sweat outside, <laughs> then you better work up a sweat like fucking me after because this is not. She's like, while we're outside, you better be inside, motherfucker. Yeah. No, I am like, like. No, I am not exerting this effort to do outdoorsy things unless I'm getting laid after. Yeah. And you I do outdoorsy know. things for fun. You got up. So we were drinking at Crave. <laughs> and I got up the next morning. You know, I always uh, crash at Sierra's and. Um, we get up the next morning and I wake up like groggily, like my eyes are like, Bleh. I'm like, fuck, I'm hungover. My head hurts. I want to vomit. I feel like shit. She's fully dressed and getting ready to go to Bonnie Springs. And she's like waiting for a kid to get downstairs and like off they go. And she sends posts 30 pictures of her like doing this whole day adventure. <laughs> I didn't leave my motherfucking bed that day. Like I, I was so. So full disclosure, I would just so, like to let you know that I had the whiskey shits all day long and I missed most of what happened <laughs> <laughs> because I would be like, oh, this is fun. Blah, 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 blah. Be right back. Thank God Bonnie Springs is a shitter in like every fucking corner because I used every single one of them. All your, of them. But your photos made me tired. And I'm like, <laughs> and at that point I knew, I'm like, I'm way too old to drink like this. Like, I'm older than you, but I'm like, but I'm not 30 years older. No. And I'm like, I couldn't get out of motherfucking bed. I like Do you know considered what? getting up to get food and like. You know the difference like, between how I drink it. and how you drink? <laughs> yes. I drink a glass of water for almost every drink that I drink. Yeah, no, I drink a drink for almost every drink that I drink. Like, <laughs> yeah. So I, she follows each drink with water. I follow each drink with another drink. And so yeah. we do drink a little bit different. I might get water. Like, I think I splashed some pool water in my mouth at some point. <laughs> I went to a pool that party night. afterwards. I might have, you know, sucked up some pool water, but that's about it. That's true. So. We didn't get home till 6 o'clock in the morning, and I was up and out of the house by yes. 1030. Again, <laughs> up, up. Fully, like I'm like on the couch I'm like and opening my eyes and like here she is she's like do we want trail mix to go on this <laughs> trip with and like the car's all packed and there's gas and like I already made a big old breakfast to take with us and like the dogs have been out and you know I've also knitted a scarf in case there's a chill <laughs> and meanwhile my makeup's like all raccoon down my face and I'm like, I don't even know. Like, did I lose my panties somewhere? Like, I'm, where's all my clothes? I don't even know what's happening. 
And there she is. She's like, I drew up a map for us, and I whittled us a walking <laughs> stick. And, like, there she goes. <laughs> so Johnny fucking us. apple seed or whatever it is. But, yeah. <sighs> We're totally it. different the next day. <laughs> we are different people the next day. <sighs> I do get the whiskey shits, though. A lot. <laughs> I lost like 15 pounds that day. So uh, Johnny's trying to kick us out of the show. So I guess that's it then, huh? That's it then. You don't want to listen to us talk about alcohol and crap? like <laughs> Alcohol and poop? No. That's every week, really. That's all we ever talk yeah, about essentially. is alcohol and shit. And um, also we like to focus on body positivity, so love yourself. While you're shitting your brains out after whiskey-fueled evenings mm-hmm. that last till 6 a.m yes absolutely be prepared bitches this is sierra toxi uh what is it what does alexia say now i don't know we're wishing you brave enough to be no, she says something like we'll, so we'll see you, you next week and then i say like grumpily if you're brave enough and then i go later bitches